What up, guys? This is Kivo Guys. Back here again with another achievement guide. Today, we're going to be focusing on the Pub Quickly achievement in Untitled Goose Game. To get this achievement, we're going to have to complete the fourth area, the Pub, in under seven minutes. All right, guys, so before I dive into this speed run, you want to make sure that you go down and open up this gate before we get started. Because the last thing on the to-do list is going to be to bring a mug down here to the canal. And if we drop the mug, it's going to break. So I just want to give you guys a fair warning to open this gate before we attempt the speed run. When you start off the area, you want to interact with this box to hide in it. You want to make sure you hide in it before she sees you. Otherwise, she won't pick it up. Once she picks it up, she's going to walk you inside. Once you're inside, you're going to make a noise and you're going to escape. You want to make a run for it. And then you're going to run past these steps and you're going to take a right into this little area where he can't catch you. Now, once you get to the other side, you're going to want to make noise so that way he comes to investigate. After that, you want to lay three tomatoes out. Now, this box of tomatoes will not be open unless you've completed a few tasks. The box of tomatoes doesn't open until they put out the no goose sign. So at first, you're going to have to complete a couple tasks before you attempt the speed run. Guy's going to attempt to put the tomatoes back that you tossed out. Now, while he's filling up the tomatoes, you want to interact with the bucket. It's going to fall on his head. That's going to cross that off of our to-do list. Now, in effort to avoid this lady here cleaning up these tables, we can hide under the tables. Now, you want to walk up to that sink and you want to turn it on. It's going to overfill, and that's going to bring the toy boat to the top of the sink where we'll be able to grab it. In the meantime, you want to start collecting a few things because we're going to need to set the table. For now, we're going to start stashing everything under this table. We need the knife, the fork, the salt shaker, and the candle. So once the sink overflows, you want to try to grab the boat real quick. If she tries to turn the sink off, you can just bark at her. Just make some noise and that'll distract her. Once you have the chance, make a run for it and go ahead and grab the toy boat. You want to hold onto it long enough for it to cross it off of your to-do list. After we've done that, we can go under the table and we can start taking some of this stuff over to the table where we set the table at. Right now I have the fork, the knife, and the salt shaker under the table. The last thing I need is this candle right here. So once you get the candle, we're just going to go ahead and make a run for it. If you want to take the candle under the table, you need to make sure you duck down, otherwise you won't be able to go under the table. We're going to go back through this little area that we escaped through earlier. This time we're going to go over to this little table area with the picnic tablecloth hanging off. We're going to put the candle on it. Next we're going to go up to this table where we left all of our stuff and we're going to start taking these items over to the table one by one. So next I got the salt shaker. I'm going to go ahead and take that one back. The lady is going to try to chase you every time because you're taking stuff from her area. If you're having trouble putting stuff on the table, you can stretch your neck by pressing L. Next, we're going to head back for another one of our items. We only have the fork and the knife left. Meanwhile, we gotta dodge all of these humans. Again, if the lady starts chasing you, just dip under a table. You'll get rid of her pretty quick. We're going to go ahead and grab the knife real quick, and then we're going to head downstairs. Again, you're going to go through this little area. She can't chase you through there. And we're going to go ahead and put the knife on the table. Now, all we need to do is get the fork. We also need to get a plate, however, there's going to be a plate right there by the table, so there's no need to drag one all the way over here from the dining area. We're going to grab the fork that we put under the table, and we are going to dip back to the table real quick. Now, after we put the fork on, then we're going to go up the stairs right next to this table, and there's going to be a plate here on the shelf. We're going to grab that plate, and we're going to put it on the table, and then that's going to be the last item, crossing that off of our to-do list for setting the table. Next, we're going to head over to this area. It's going to be an old man right here. We're going to have two tasks associated with him. So first, when he's throwing the dart, we're going to need to make a noise. He kind of does like three pumps, and then on the third pump, he throws it. So during that third pump, you just want to make sure that you press X to make noise. That's going to distract him, and then he's going to break the dartboard. After that, it's going to take a couple seconds for him to build the dartboard back up again. So you want to head over to these two ladies that are sitting next to this table. Climb on top of this platform right here, and we're pretty much going to be playing Simon Says with these ladies. First, they're going to ask you to make a noise, and then they're going to ask you to put your head down, and then they're going to ask you to open your wings. 
After that, they're going to give you a flower, and that's going to cross that off of our to-do list. Next, you want to race over to the guy, and before he sits down and plays his harmonica, you want to move his chair so that way he falls on his butt. Now, we only have one more task on the to-do list. What we need to do is we need to grab a mug, and then we need to take it all the way to the canal. So you want to walk up far enough where this guy starts chasing you. You want to go into that little entrance right there, and then we're going to come out the other side, and we're going to exit out of the pub. Now, as I warned before, you are going to need to take this over to this gate over here. If you put down the cup, it's going to break. So you do need to make sure that you open this gate before you attempt this. Because if not, you're going to get all the way to this gate like I did. And you're going to have to drop the cup to open the gate. Assuming you have the gate open, you just drop the mug inside of the canal. That's going to unlock the pub quickly achievement for completing everything on the pub to-do list under 7 minutes before the church bell rings. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If this video helped you out, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.